Hello everybody, my name is Sophie and welcome to my book nook. I'm at 100 subscribers now, which is so cool. Thank you to everybody who is subscribing to me. I just want to say that I'm not going to be doing anything special for 100 subscribers. I thought about it, I just don't have enough time or money. But I promise that when I get to 250 subscribers, there we, uh, I'm on do something. Probably a Q and A, definitely a giveaway. It's gonna be fun. So that's something to look forward to. <laughs> anyway, today's video is one that I'm super excited about. I've been waiting like three days to film it. <laughs> now I finally can. We're doing an unboxing. This time it is the bookworm box. Young adult. Because I like those kinds of books. So yeah. The, I found out about the bookworm box while I was at BookCon. I got a coupon to try them out. So I did. All of their profits go to charity, which I think is a wonderful thing. I've been wanting more book boxes, so when I found out about them, when I got the coupon, when I found out that all the profits are to charity, they're doing such good things, I wanted to try them out that I did. Here we are. Hopefully it's going to be awesome. I think it is. It's got custom heft, so that's good. I'm, I'm excited. So, uh, yeah. Let's let's just uh, do this. I love the color of the box, too. Like, it's such a... It's like a very beachy color. You see? Very beachy. Alright. <laughs> good deeds, great reads. Also, I will, of course, link the bookworm box down below in the description box. Please do check them out. They're really cool. Alright, let's see what's in here. Like always, you guys get to see before me. Okay. Yes, all of their, um, every single box from the bookworm box comes with a free ebook. I actually got that email today. The emails go out on the 25th for your free ebook. Today's the 25th. So I have that. I even looked at what it is though because I don't want to spoil what's in here. Oh, it's so sweet. And it's just really, okay, so there's a bookmark and it's a really like thick, well-made bookmark even though it's a little, little bent. And it says, I almost wish we were butterflies and I lived but three summer days. Three such days with you I could fill with more delight than 50 common years could ever contain. John Keats. On the back here it says, thank you so much for choosing to support the bookworm box. Every profit from products like this are donated to amazing charities around the world. The supported charities for June are Giving Hope Network. Actors Youth Theater, Boy Scouts of America, River Valley Child Development, Reach Out and Read, James River Elementary PTA, Indiana County TMCA, and Devereaux Advanced Behavior. This month's artist is Life and Luster Painted and Stitch Art. There is a letter in here. I'm not going to read that yet. Alright, here's some scenes. So those things. I love the colors. Okay, alright. I love pens and it's like it says the bookworm box and it's purple and oh my goodness how does it write this is a really nice pen oh my gosh I love it I love it we have a candle I believe uh je me suis épris de toi I fell for you scent inspired from bread bread by ginger scott is that the book that's in here might be Handmade by the Bookworm Box Team with love. Ooh, it smells really good. Since it within, oh, look how sparkly it is. It smells. Ooh, I shouldn't touch it. <laughs> There's sparkles on me. It smells really, really good. It's really strong though, but it's like, it's good. I wish it said what the scents are, 
important. Maybe there's something in here that will tell me. Okay, so far we're like two for two on things that I like. Let's see what's in here. It's a little thingy. I don't know what's in here. Oh, I think I found the book. It is called bread. But like, not bread that you eat. B-R-E-D. Not B-R-E-A-D. Here's a bookmark for a book called Camp So-and-So by Maddie M Mary McCoy. <laughs> that seems interesting. There's like, this has like a bunch of, um, there's, there's two bookmarks and I don't know what this is. These are like book previews? No wait, this is a recipe card. Fudge cake. Ooh. Okay, this is for a book, I guess. Well, no. This is a book cover, but on the back there's like a recipe for fudge cake with peanut butter icing. It sounds really good. <laughs> and then there's one more thing in this little plastic bag. M.E. Carter Pride and Love. A twist on sports romances. It looks like you can color it. It's kind of cool. I like that book. This is the book. See? Bread. Not bread. Bread. It's by Ginger Scott. A modern day retelling of great expectations. The back says, my life was irrevocably changed the moment I stepped foot into Elena Alderman's grand front doors. A lifeless tomb on the edge of Chicago's south side, the Alderman's home sat in one of the city's oldest and wealthiest neighborhoods and Elena Alderman was the queen. She was also mad. Not the kind of madness that's really apparent, no. Her psychopathy was far more surgical, more insidious. Ooh. I like it so far. <laughs> she was surrounded by beautiful things, most notably her grand piano and her adopted son, Henry. I fell in love with both. The piano and the son? I don't know. My gift blossomed when my fingers touched her black and white keys, but when my life but my life began when I became haunted by the boy. Henry Alderman was handsome was a handsome blend of arrogance and seduction, and, and as we grew up together I found it more and more impossible to separate him from my thoughts. I envy his life. I envied his life. I imagined how my name, Lily, would look with his. I became his closest friend and more. I gave him my kiss, flocked away his secrets, and loved him even when it was hard to. But we were just a game. Elena Alderman made the rules, and when she decided to change them, she broke everything. Almost. Sounds cool. There's still one more thing in here. <gasps> Wait, <let's see. gasps> ah, it's so cute! This is a nice bag. <laughs> Look, it's a tote bag. But like, better than that. It's more like one of those kind of bags you could put like... This is a really well-made bag. And it's got purple. It also like smells good for some reason. I like it. I like it. It's cute. I like the little bookworm. Da -da 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 Whoops. So that's the bookworm box. I like it. I I love that all of the profits go to charity. I'm not sure how it was worth it for me with the coupon. I'm not sure if it would be worth it without the coupon. I thought there was gonna be a few more things in the box. And there wasn't as many as I expected. I still like it though. I do like it a lot. I feel like if I got another coupon and that cut down the price a little bit, it's totally worth it and I would buy it again in a heartbeat. Those are my thoughts. I like I like the candle a lot and the pen. Oh, I needed a new pen. I was looking for a pen like this morning and now I have a new one. Yay. I would suggest checking out the bookworm box. If you're looking for a new box, new book boxes, if you are looking for ones that are doing good things they're also they their books are all like i think by indie authors or authors that you know 
because they're all indie authors, as they said. Check them out. Check out what they got. It's cool. I like it. I like the candle. I even have a collection of candles starting now. Who knows if I'll ever burn them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like watching me talk about books, open book boxes, all that kinds of stuff, that's what I do. I don't know why I'm yelling. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel, okay? I think that's it for now, so I will see you guys really soon. Bye!